Hey guys, what's up? So, I thought I'd do a quick review of these, uh, <clears throat> the new fluke toner, the new, uh, active filter, uh, fluke toner. Got this over on Amazon. Um, it was $110, so it's definitely cheaper on Amazon than it was other places. So I don't really know what's in the box yet, but I have a, I had recently got my tool stolen, so I had to buy, uh, some new toners. I usually keep two, I, I like to keep two toners in my tool bag, just because I've actually gone to a job site before, and... <laughs> Actually, I got, you know, spent an hour and a half in, the, in traffic and got there and my toner didn't work. So, actually I made a previous video on how I fixed the toner. But, okay, so I have two toners in front of me. I have a, the older style Pro 3000 that I just bought a couple days ago. I actually had to open it up because I had to use last night. Um, Pro 3000, this is just a regular analog toner. Um, nothing special about it. And I actually, I like this toner more than the actual Intellitone, the other one. I used to have the Intellitone on. And I didn't like all the dials and buttons. I just wanted something simple so I could blow it out fast. Um, so this is the older style one. And let's take a look at this newer one here. This is the new one with a yellow face on it with a little filter button. So I'm going to take it apart. I want to see elect electronically how it's different than the other one. So yeah, it doesn't make it any difference to spend an extra 60 bucks on this toner. Okay, just a warranty card. I'm sure there's some really basic instructions here. Yeah, 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 yeah. No big deal. Like, I don't, I don't usually like these kind. Of, I, I don't like tools that are so complicated where I can't figure it out where I have to read the manual. Especially when you're working, you know, you don't want to try to remember a bunch of button sequences. All right, so pretty basic there. Let's take a look at this thing. Side by side. So that's the new one. This is the old one. And I do actually like how Fluke, my old toner, didn't actually have these little rubber protectors. So I had a Pro 3000. And like I said, I made another video of me fixing the speaker. The speaker broke on it. And uh, so I do actually like how they now put the rubber uh, covers on the Better Nails connector. And that's actually one of the reasons why I like the uh, Fluke stuff is like a lot of the, some toners don't actually have this Better Nails connector. And um, it's definitely a nice feature. Some just come with alligator clips. Plus, see that this thing's angled like that? Well, that's designed to go on a 66 block. So it can actually hang on the 66 block. If you have alligator clips, it's really hard to do that. So, plus, actually, Flu has, Flu has come down in price a little bit where it's not too much more expensive than the other stuff. All right, so let's take a look. So I was using this last night. I had to open it up. Let me open the, the box up so you can see. I really just want to get the bag out of here. I already know how to work this thing. It's so basic. It's just, you know, turn on and off. Okay, so the bags look... My other bag had a different color. It had the regular, like, yellow fluke on it. Okay. All right. Oh, interesting. Little thing. And the manual fits in the back. Okay. I don't think I want to put the manuals in there just because it's going to make it the bag fatter. So I'm always trying to squeeze a lot of tools into my, my work bag. And uh, Okay, so let's get to this thing real quick. So let's see the differences here. i got to put a 9-volt battery in this thing and I'll, I'll get back. Alright, so the screw comes off. Pretty basic. Just put the batteries in. And the, 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 the tone generators themselves look exactly the same. Like, there's no improvement in the tone generator, it looks like. There's the two tone generators. These are these are identical. Um, but, uh, yeah, I do actually, uh, it's sort of annoying that it's all made in China now, but, I mean, I'm kind of, it, it, it's very frustrating, but everything's made in China now, so I, it's like, I have no other choice in the matter. So let's uh, take this off real quick. Let's take a look at this thing real quick. I do actually like how it comes with an extra tip. But, um, alright, so before I take this thing apart, and all, I want to actually look at the electronics and see how they differ. So I really want to see how much money they actually spent improving this thing or what, what they changed internally with the electronics. But first, I'll just do a quick. Uh, 
how are they what, what are they really doing with this filter you know uh, probably don't need to see all me screwing this in here like that then I'll cut that out all right all right okay Okay, so a couple things I noticed right off the bat. This newer one is actually, compared to my old one, getting the button to activate is actually a lot harder. You actually got to really push down on these things to activate it. But since the tone generator is the same, I'm just going to use one. Let's see here. So the tone is actually different. So let's see, let's turn off the, well actually before I even get to that, the one thing I noticed right away is to activate this one, it, it shuts off when you actually let go of the button, whereas this one, this, seems like, this one seems like it wants to stay on. So, I don't know if this thing actually has an auto off or not, but I, I could see that being a problem. I mean, like, I if you forget to turn this thing off, it's just going to wear it on the battery. So hopefully there's some kind of auto off on this thing. Okay, let's play that. Let's do that again. This one definitely seems louder. So this one's definitely louder. Um, okay, let's turn the filter off. Let's I'm going to turn the filter. That means the filter is off when it's red. Well, yeah, like I said, I don't like the uh, how it stays on. Um, like I said, I could see that being a problem later on. Okay, let's see if... Uh, All right, let's turn that tone generator off. Now, this one definitely seemed louder. But I'm not gonna really know until I actually start playing with this thing in the field, like how much different this thing is, but. Um, yeah, the tools that I review are actually, I really do actually use the tools. So I'm not like a tool reviewer uh, that doesn't use the tools. Yeah, I mean, that's paid by a company to review tools. Um, I actually really do use these things. So, like I said, I was using this last night to tone out wires. Alright, so yeah, I'm a cabling contractor if you didn't know that already. Network cabling, fiber optic, voice cabling, whatever. DMARC extensions. Also ID guy. So. Alright, let's take this thing apart and see what's in it. Okay. Okay. Let's remove the battery. Yeah. Hopefully they don't have some kind of warranty strip in there. So I'm going to unscrew this. So what I want to do is I want to look at the, uh, with the circuitry, how, how it changed. Like what do they do? What, what, what is the filter, man? What, what do they do? You know, how did it change? What are the, you know, what's, what did it add to it? Okay, so that is, plug this one. Yeah, just a couple screws, not really hard. So I want to keep the screws separate here. Alright, get my little battery off there while it's stuck on there. Okay. Let's see. Alright. So actually, I'm keeping them both. I, I like I said, I, I like to have a backup so it's not. Like I said, for 60 bucks to have an extra toner, man, like literally, it's nothing more frustrating when you get on site and your toner doesn't work. Like, it's so hard to figure out where wires are at if you don't have that. Okay, so what's. Okay, so the, the covers are actually exactly the same. So, identical there. Okay, so I automatically see that this is different. I'm, I'm missing a uh, IC right here. 
So I don't have an IC down there. And there's a couple of uh, look at a couple transistors, resistors, capacitors on the bottom. Um, so that's definitely a difference. All right, let's take the circuit board out, and we'll see. Flip it over, and we'll see the difference. Okay. All right, I'm trying not to break this. <laughs> it's like to break my new tool. Um, okay, so that is okay. Let's see the existing. Okay. Okay. So the board is definitely a different design for sure. So let's take a quicker comparison of these two side by side. Okay, so there we go. So yeah, they did actually spend uh, money redesigning the board, so that's a good sign. I feel like I didn't get ripped off. Um, okay, cool. Yeah, I'm not going to try to figure out what was what, but like I said, at least they did actually make the effort to change the design. They didn't just put some kind of like a LED on there with some stupid filter on there or something. Like some kind of capacitor or something that's going through. Filtering. Um, okay, cool. Looks good. So, I mean, let me know if this helps somebody, I guess. And it's nice to see inside these things. So, uh, I won't really know if this is like a serious improvement yet until I start really uh, messing with it. Um, but, yeah, I, I'm hoping this will help when I actually have a... Like, sometimes when I tone wires, they're connect, I can't... They're connected to a switch. I don't know where they're at. So I'm still, I'm trying to tone the wire while it's connected to a network switch. And that makes it very, very difficult because it drowns out the tone. So, all right, guys. Cool.